everyone, Kasim here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Appreciate you for coming back. In this video, we are going to talk about VWAP. VWAP is a great tool that I use. Um, uh, it's it, it's really simple the way that I use it. Um, so we have the we have three parts of VWAP, which we're going to get into in a second. We have upper 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 part, we have the middle part, and we have the lower part. Um, usually, simply what I do is when the price is above the upper part, I only trade the green parts of the chart. When the price is above the low, if, when the chart, chart is below the lower part of VWAP, I only trade the red part, which I'm going to get into just in one second. So um, this video is going to be jam packed with good trading information. So please stick around. And um, if you are new to my channel or you're watching this video for the first time, take a second to check out my channel and look at my other content. Uh, take a second to subscribe, stick around if you're interested in dividend investing trading financial literacy just everything about money and my journey i'm gonna share a lot of a lot of uh, videos with you guys in terms of what i'm doing to get to a million dollars uh because i've set a challenge for myself to get to my first million dollars and I'm, I'm gonna share it with everybody so maybe if someone out there see this video one day and they want to take take uh the same path that i'm taking you have resources with this channel with all these videos that I've been making. So let's get right, next, right into it without wasting any time. So getting right into it here, um, this is where we stop from the last lesson. Um, I believe it was lesson six or lesson seven. This is where we stopped. We spoke about um, RSI. We spoke about RSI um, and momentum indicator and also um, TT squeeze. Uh, go check out those videos. I'm gonna leave link them in the cards above. You can watch. You can you can click on the cards and you see a list. You see the playlist. Uh, from from the beginning, I've been ex I've been um, explaining how this work, all the way from the very very basic, all the way from the candlesticks. What is the individual candlesticks? I've been talking about it. I've done a couple of lessons on it. So please go and check it out. But for the people that that keep up with the channel and subscribe to the channel, let's move on. Let's keep it keep it pushing. So now, um, as I said in the intro, the next tool that I use is is called VWAP. It's called Volume Weighted Average. Um, and what that does is it just calculates the 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 the, the price on each chart and segment and basically average it out. Just like how we've been talking about averages are like the name of the game when it comes to, um, when it comes to, you know, trading here. So what we're going to do is to, to add, to actually add it onto your chart. What you're going to do is you're going to go on studies, edit studies right here. You click on that. And then what we're going to do is right here, we're going to type in V, we're going to type in VWAP and it shows up. You double tap it. Once you double tap it, it's gonna get added into your. It's gonna get added into your your um you know um what's it called studies here, and then what you wanna do is you wanna you wanna click on it, as I'm doing here. You wanna click on it, and then what we wanna do is the the actual VWAP. I, I made mine gr gray, so. You can make yours whichever color you want to make it. I mean, my gray, and then the, the 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 thickness of the line. I like to make it five, and then I go to the upper bands and make it two or three, depending on what you want to do. You can make it two or three, but let me keep it at three for the sake of explanation. Um, let's keep it as three, and then once we're done with that, so three things that we we're gonna do. Uh, first of all, you go here. And you type in VWAP in the edit study. Let me start again. First thing you go hit, you go to you go to uh, edit study here. Click on it. Then the next thing you go you go type in VWAP into the search box. Double tap it. It comes right in here. And then once you once once you once you can see it in your studies, you just hit 
it, um, you hit the settings button yet here to edit edit it and then and then what you what you do now is go to VWAP make this make this gray whichever color you want I like to make it gray you'll see why in a second and then I make it five because I want it to be really defined and the upper band I made it three and the lower band I also made it three so that's that's pretty much it so we're gonna apply hit apply uh, it will obviously apply to the chart and we hit OK. Once we hit OK, this is what we are going to have on the chart. Now, again, again, this looks a little bit, this looks a little bit messy. So um, there's, there's a reason to the madness. Okay, there is a re reason to the madness and I'm going to explain to you in one second. As we all know with the moving averages, usually when they cross like this, it means that most likely the pr price is going to keep on going down. When, when moving averages cross like this, prices tend to keep on going down. Um, so for the sake of uh, this explanation, I already, I already have it saved, but let me just double check it and save. I'm going to save it as five here for the sake, for the sake of, um, just making the making things a little bit easier in terms of explaining VWAP I'm gonna take out the um, bigger moving averages I'll take the 50 out take the 100 out and I also take the 200 out I already saved it so it's easy for me to go back into into using it, you know so it's already safe so now now let me now let me let me explain to you how to use uh, how to use the VWAP is very important for, for, for me to explain to you how I use it because it's very, very simple to use. It's not really difficult at all. So let me, let me explain, let me get into it. I'm explaining, explain, explaining to you right now. So what it is, is basically if the stock price, let's say, let's say we were watching it at, at this point, right? If the stock price is below this yellow line, if the stock price is below the, the uh, gray line, it's called uh, VWAP. The gray line is the actual is the is the middle line of the of the of this trading tool VWAP. Um, so when when the stock it's below when the stock is below it, like at this point, right? When the stock is below it, you only trade the green part. I mean the red the red part, okay? And at the same time, you know, if you go and look at all the all, all my other videos, I use all these tools together. I don't just only use just one of them. I use all of them together because they all tell their own story that help you make better decisions on on with with, with trading. That helps me make better decisions with trading, anyways. So let's say the market was the the uh, this is pre market. This is the pre market area. So let's say <clears throat> when the market opens and what, well, well, during, let's say we were watching this, um, today <clears throat> during the pre-market today, so uh, let's say when, we, w let's say we were going to watch this and it's our regular trading day. We're going to, we're going to start, a, uh, start a day. Usually I'm usually on the, on the desk around eight thirty nine. So I usually like to watch the pre-market and see what happens doing, doing, doing doing pre-market so like like a day like today now now this is on a five minute time frame this is five minutes um each candle is five minutes i'm gonna bring it down so so you can see something a little bit different as well but each candle is five minutes so first thing that we usually look at like i said like i've been saying in all my previous video i usually like to look at the um um you know this uh conversion line here is the MACD histogram crossover this this line it gives me great signals on when to go into a trade and get out of a trade so so that's the first thing that shows up and then next thing we need to do is keep an eye on the EMA and as you can see the EMA also also is below the the yellow the five EMA which is this yellow one is below is below this uh, bluish light bluish uh, eight, uh, 12 EMA. I mean, so once, once the stock price, which is the candle, when it open, 
it opened right um on vwap and then the next one as you can see is the bigger bigger candle you usually something like this i will get in right away on this candle because this is a big candle it already signaled this already signaled uh the histogram crossover signaled the ema also signaled as well and then we're coming in with big the first candle is pretty big with huge volume you know it's this volume is pretty big and as you can see you can see this yellow this yellow line here this yellow line is the average average volume line let me see if i can make this thicker so we can see it see it a little bit better this this, this yellow line is the average is the average volume line right and as we as we were saying the when when the when the stock opened in the morning uh, when the stock opened it opened it, it basically broke it basically went it's a big candle uh with a high with high volume so before i enter a trade what i will do is i will look at what this signal is saying right the the magnetic histogram crossover what the crossover is saying that's the first thing i look at where's the ema then this is the second thing i look at that where's the ema the third thing i look at is what is the tt squeeze doing and what is the um momentum also doing right so as you can see everything basically was sloping downwards the tt squeeze right here you see it's it started showing showing red uh the momentum was basically pushing down and uh yeah this was basically a clear signal to sell to buy puts so if you jump on this one and buy puts you can take take this all the way down and maybe the first signal here you can sell or hold on to it and wait to see what's going to happen and you can sell right here right here you can basically sell at maybe at this point because if we look if we look here as you can see the rsi line which is right here the rsi line this 100 to zero usually when the price is below B below 35 that means the price the stock is oversold right when the when the when the when the stock price is below 35 on the rsi actually around around here it means it's been over oversold so at this point it, it pushed down a little bit more that's just extra profit most likely you can secure that profit right there because it's past the 35 percent on the rsi line and this started pushing up as well so this would be a good time to to get out of the trade or if you don't want to look at the rsi you can see that okay this this candle this candle right here keep an eye on this keep an eye on this this is the volume so it this candle had uh, a green candle it was a green candle so that means a lot of people were buying here and people bought 265 worth of shares or, or contracts or whatnot but they they were buying here, so most likely the the trend the trend is already done. Uh, the the if you buy puts, the trend is already done because the volume is, the volume was high on this candle, two hundred and sixty five thousand shares. That was pretty high high volume. And then um, right here we look at the momentum indicator here. It started pushing up as well. And usually when that happened, most likely the the momentum is done basically done to the downside so if you were able to take the trade here taking it all the way down this would have been a good trade now um usually when i look at the vwap um i only like when when the price is below the vwap which is this gray line right here when the price is below it i only like to trade i only like to trade the the red candles right so I would this would be the first trade i would take this one then i would wait i wouldn't take i wouldn't take a trade here i'm just talking about what i would do i wouldn't take a trade here because prices are still below vwap because below vwap means most likely that if the stock price is below vwap most likely the stock price will, will keep on going down unless it gets above it okay so i won't take take trade here i'll probably take a trade here right because everything basically clicked here again i'll probably take a trade here i will not take a trade here i will take a trade here because again you see you see the second candle 
bounce right. Um, it use it use VWAP as resistance. It used VWAP as resistance, bounce right off it, and then it just started pushing back down. So, um, yeah. So that is the that is the part for um the bottom bottom part. That's it. my explanation for the bottom part. If you wanna, if price is below VWAP, you only take the red candle you only take the red trades okay because i've made a lot of mistake going for the green trade thinking it's going to keep on pushing up so now what i do i do not take green trades any green candle when the price is below vwap when the price gets above vwap maybe like right here i would probably take this trade right because okay let's let's do that 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 explanation is a short if you want to take a short position this next one now will be if you want to take a long position. So if you want to bet that the stock price will go up in the future. So what do you look out for? Again, I won't take a trade here. I won't take a trade here because this is pretty, the signal is pretty weak here. Um, and then if we start getting up to this point and then it pulls back, most likely here, right here, I'll probably jump on a trade here and take this all the way up. Okay, um, I've talked about TT squeeze. Go watch a TT squeeze video. You're gonna you're gonna see why I said I would take this all the way, all the way, all the way up instead of getting now around this area, uh, because you see the TT squeeze is still pretty high, and it's also above the 75% on the RSI. So most likely it's gonna keep on, it's gonna um, stay overbought, you know. And then um, here it started fading away. And then, you know, basically throughout the end of the day, it really didn't make much of a movement. So, again, when price is below, when price is in this area, when price is below, like right here, if it's below, when price is below the gray line right here, most likely the stock will keep on going down. When price is above VWAP, most likely the, the price, the stock price will keep on going up. So that's how I, I like to look at it. Okay. Uh, the other the other thing that I also like to look at is to use VWAP for like support and resistance. Um, let me see if there's any area. But I just kind of like put it in my mind that okay, um, you know, let's say like this area now, right? Let's say like this area. If we use this 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 uh, cursor as 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 the support line as you can see as you can see right right above here it went up hit the resistance which is the middle part which is the middle part of vwap hit the resistance bounce off it came back to the support came back to the support support line which is which is like right here and then basically it bounced off it again push up then came back down and at this point you see right here it broke the support um it, it broke the support line with this candle okay it broke the support line with this candle and then it just broke down from there so um basically support and resistance is when the price basically the the uh like a window window for a stock so let's say you um you draw you draw two line one line going on top one line going on the bottom like Oh, I wish I can show you guys. I don't know if this thing will let me draw draw a, a trend line. This setup is pretty old, but but yeah, I'm gonna do a different video on support and resistance, I guess, because this is it's, this TD acts acts up sometimes. So so yeah, that's that. Let me bring you some um, videos on VWAP so you can research a little bit more about how to use it and obviously come back to this video to finish watching the video so i i have two articles here i have two articles here that i'm going to show you guys and um it really goes into more details about vwap um what it is obviously here they're not showing the upper bands or the lower bands but they 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 explain i as you guys know already i absolutely love investopedia like i get a lot of if I want to need to read read up on on uh, any particular trading tool, I really go to Investopedia. I love 
um the information i find it to be like the most legit uh piece of information they talk about everything so if you want to start your research you can literally start from right there this video this channel is for education purposes you know i'm not a financial advisor you know i'm nowhere near qualified to be telling you what to do with your money i'm just sharing with you what i'm doing with my money so that is the, why i'm doing this and i like to point you to the right place to start your research because trading and investing is like wild 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 west you know so if you have someone that can point you in the right direction to go to uh, i think that's a, that's that's a good thing so that's why i'm doing this um so yeah let's let's just watch this uh, video that explains what it is really quickly and we can go from there I don't know if this thing is going to have any ads, but okay, let's restart it. It's giving me the death wheel. Okay. Volume weighted average price or VWAP is the average value of a stock traded over the course of a set time horizon, which is typically one day. Traders use VWAP as a benchmark to ensure their stock purchases are in line with the volume on the market. Traders can gauge their efficiency by comparing the price at which they traded a stock to its VWAP. If they bought at a lower price than the VWAP, they're usually pleased. If they bought at a higher price than the VWAP, they're not. Investors calculate a stock's VWAP by totaling the dollars traded on a security, the price multiplied by numbers of shares traded, and then dividing by the total shares of that security exchanged over the time horizon. For example, three buys for a particular stock occur over an hour. One was for 100 shares at $10 per share, one was 300 shares at $8, and a third was 200 shares at $11. The VWAP for that stock over the hour is $9.33. The trader who paid $11 per share and the trader who paid $10 are disappointed. The trader who paid $8 per share is happy. Many pension funds and some mutual funds use VWAP. When their intraday price varies widely from the VWAP, the price may be pressured to move closer to it. So, um, let's say you're, um, you're a professional professional investor and this is what you do for a living that they, um, they use VWAP to help them navigate the the, 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 the the stocks a little bit better and I'm gonna show you guys what they mean by that in just a second um, so basically if I was a professional investor like I work for let's say I work for the bank or I work for the mutual funds like they just explained for example if let's say um, if you go and look at Tesla for example instead of QQQ let's look at Tesla um, so let's say I, I, uh, my job today, I come into the office. My job is, my job today is to buy Tesla at the best price possible for my firm. Right. Um, let me, I, I need to buy the stock. I'm not trying to, um, short or go, I'm not trying to do option trading on the stock. I just need to buy shares. Right. Where do I get the best price of the day? Right. So that's why. Professionals, that's why they use VWAP because VWAP helps them navigate. You see this yet lower bands? Basically, it basically will help them realize okay, this could potentially be the lowest point of the day because the price is right next to the lower band at this point. So, let's say if you have to buy like a million shares, right? You can say, you know what, I'm going to buy 200 shares here, 200,000 shares here. I'll just buy it. Then you bought it, you bought it, you hold on to it. And then you wait and see what would happen. And you see if price came down. And then right at this point, short, uh, squeeze happened, right? That's when a bunch of people bought, buys a stock at a time and it pushes the price up. A uh, squeeze happened and it pushed the price all the way up. And then it came down again and pushed the price all the way up. So the person that bought the stock at this area, right at this area, got the best price because at the end of the day, they bought they bought the stock for. Let's say at this point, this hypothetical hedge fund uh, manager that wants to buy Tesla stock bought the stock at uh, four four hundred and ten dollars. 
by the end of the day, the stock is at $420, right? So, so VWAP helps you determine where you should get into a stock that you're trying to buy, right? Um, and, and, and for, and for us traders, you know, it also helps, helps us in terms of, you know, uh, when you're trading options, it helps you determine when you should be buying, buying, because like when the price is below, below VWAP right here, you can tell that, okay, this is a good time for me to, for me to jump in. Like I explained earlier, you know, and test this Tesla trade was even, even perfect right here. This one is even perfect. So, so, so that is, that is pretty much it for today's trade. I mean, today's lesson. I hope you've learned something today. Hope it's something that, that is beneficial to you. If you like what I do here, please subscribe, like the video, you know, share this, share this channel with other people. Uh, I talk about dividend investing. I talk about day trading, uh, and financial literacy and uh, and i and i'm sharing everything that i'm doing to get to a million dollars because i just set a challenge for myself to get to a million dollars because why not this is america you know other people all other people do it why can't we all do it so um i'm sharing my journey on how i'm gonna get there and how i'm planning to get there so if you like what i do here consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel out a lot so thank you for that. Let's, um, until next time, love you all. Bye.